Hi and welcome to Tech and More. So, as part of the ongoing series that is Salesforce concepts you need to know as a Salesforce tester, I welcome you to the video wherein we'll be learning how to create a devorg in Salesforce. And before actually going ahead and learning about devorg and the practicality of it, I want to first show you the playlist that I'm talking about. So, if you're willing to switch to the Salesforce domain as a software tester, the i have i am curating a list of the concepts of salesforce platform that you need to know which will be very helpful for you in the interviews as well so if you are aspiring for the same please follow this playlist that is salesforce concepts to know as a salesforce tester and watch the previous video videos as well and continue watching them so i i am sure that all the questions relating or pertaining to salesforce as a tester you need to know will be answered here again talking about the uh, second part of the domain software testing that is testing per se uh, this particular playlist that is top software testing interview questions contains all the important questions that you might guest asked in the interview for a software tester so for that part you can go ahead and have a look at this playlist fair enough now let's go ahead and let's start with the video and uh, let's learn about how to create a devorg in salesforce now the topics that we are going to discuss is the number one is what is a devorg in salesforce number two is limitations of devorg and number three is creating a devorg right now first of all what is a devorg so basically a salesforce developer edition org is a special salesforce edition that gives you a full featured salesforce environment to develop and test existing or new features and test your own custom applications custom applications now i understand i agree that this uh, whole definition might sound a bit complex to you so i want to make things easy for you that is my task here on this channel so let me take you to an actual devorg that is already created right so uh, if you see it right now this is what a devorg looks like right there are different tabs there are different buttons here reports and everything are there everything is there right so what is a de devorg a devorg is basically uh, in layman term it's a limited edition or a limited access or a free access to a paid software right so by creating a devorg you're not charged a single penny and salesforce provides you with all the features i mean most of the features that there are in salesforce and uh, you can uh, you know you can access salesforce you can learn salesforce you can see the functionalities and everything by going into the setup and uh, i mean likewise but of course we'll discuss all these things in the upcoming videos but i'm telling you how does a devorg looks like and what is the benefit of devorg right so you get the access to salesforce free of cost but of course it comes with limitations what are those limitations let's have a look at that limitations of devorg are that you cannot use a devorg edition for professional use which is given right i mean a company a a a a, a large scale company will not give you its software free of cost because how is it going to earn its revenue then right so uh, you cannot use the devorg to create crm for your uh, company or uh, you know to imp to implement it at large scale it is you basically for education or learning purposes it is you basically for people like you who are watching the video who want to switch into the salesforce domain learn about what salesforce platform is learn about different clouds learn about different functionalities what are objects what are workflow rules etc free of cost that is what a devorg is used for that is the main limitation or the actually the main utility of devorg that is the better word to say here now let's go ahead and let's see how that how can you create a devorg now i have already opened this url for you i'll share this url in the description video description as well but i'll tell you how to go ahead and search it so on google you simply say create devorg salesforce that is it you get this url you click here and you get this page right now let's go ahead and let's actually create a devorg in action so now let's put in the first name and last name is harry potter and uh, i'm sorry so then i'll put in my email id that is for the channel's email id and again if you have any queries or any questions please feel free to use this email id to re contact or uh, reach out to us i'll put in the role as anything you can i mean it's 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 a very random thing then company's name i'll put it as test company rather let's let's put it as uh, i don't know hogwarts or something right and uh, i'll select the country as 
United Kingdom, right? But rather, let's let's make it India because we are creating this video and it it uh, hampers the IP routing and everything. Now, the postal code is something that I'll put in as a random one. And now let me put in the username. So basically, the username and password will be used to log in, right? So let me put it as H Potter at the rate uh, I don't know test dot com something of that sort. This is how a username looks like in Salesforce. Right, your username must be in the form of an email address. That is why I put it as this particular thing. It must be unique, and cannot be associated with another. This is given, right? It this this email ad, this email address type username is required, but it should not be a genuine one, right? So, let's click on I agree and let's sign up and let's wait. It says processing, and uh, let's now okay. It says do you already are using that username in in another Salesforce login credential. Okay, we'll make it unique. So let's make it as five and let's try it with this one. So you know, uh, of course, these these usernames have to be unique, and if they're not, it will throw an error. So it says please check your email address to confirm your account. So let's go ahead to the email ID or the inbox and see did, that did we get a confirmation email, and uh, let's log into the org from there. So as you can see, we have the email here. And uh, this is a very simple, a very basic email. Nothing different as compared to other softwares or other apps that you're using. So uh, there is the URL that I need to navigate to. There is the username, and there is the verify account button. So let me click here, and uh, let's see where it takes you to. Yes, it has taken us to the password page. So I'll set up a password here. I'll say the password that i wish and uh, when you create yours you can put in the password that you want and let's suppose if i have this uh, i mean uh, you you can choose the question as you like and uh, it, it says in which city was your first job so i'll say bangalore right for me it was bangalore if for you it means anything of, uh, of course so i'll change the password and uh, i'll be navigated to the dev org and uh, congratulations we have created the dev org just within I I don't know around two to three minutes, and that is the most easiest way that you can create a dev org. And uh, I hope that this this particular video helps you in creating dev org, and it, you can share it with your folks as well who are willing to learn Salesforce and uh, struggling to create a dev org in an easy manner. So it's done and dusted. And uh, yes, you have your dev org. Save this URL. Say uh, make a note of your username, make a note of your password, and uh, let's continue learning. So thank you so much for watching the video and uh, I hope that you continue watching the upcoming videos wherein we'll be discussing the different Salesforce concepts that you need to know as a Salesforce tester, which will be asked to you in the interviews, which will be useful for you when you actually start doing the projects. So stay tuned, keep watching the videos and uh, thank you for watching this one. See you.